Hello students and welcome to my channel. Today we shall do your chapter 1, Computer and its Components, Exercises. A. Tick the correct answers. A scanner is a dash device. Put device, output device or processing device. Now first let us understand what is a scanner. Now a scanner is an input device used to send images and text directly into a computer. We can scan images like photographs, drawings and logos into a computer. Now, so from this we understand that a scanner is an input device. Next, number two. Treating data according to the instructions and changing it into information is called processing. Why processing? Because some action is being done on the data which has been inputted or given to the computer some processing work is done and then it is changed into information. So this is called as processing. Now third, CD-ROM and DVD-ROM are the examples of dash devices. Now these are the examples of storage devices. Now what do we understand by CD-ROM? CD stands for compact disk and ROM stands for read-only memory and DVD-ROM. DVD stands for Digital Visual Display and ROM stands for Read-Only Memory. So, these are the examples of storage devices. Now, what are storage devices, children? Storage devices, they enable you to store data and information. And they can hold your data, instructions and your information for you to use in the future. Now, as we know, there are very different kinds of storage devices. All that you have learned, hard disk drive, optical disk, compact disk, CD-ROM, DVD-ROM. And now we have something called as Blu-ray disk. So, so. Next, number four. The hardware components that convey information to the user are called dash devices. Now, please pay attention on the word hardware. Hardware means something which is already there in the system, not inside the system. It is a physical thing which you can touch. So, now these things, they will convey information to the user which are called output devices. Next, can you give me some examples of output devices, students? Output devices examples are monitor, printer and speakers. These are, you have seen in your lab, you must have seen the monitor. So, where do you see your uh, data displayed on the monitor? And printer gives you a printout. So, these are all your hardware components and speakers you can hear music so this is also your output device so the hardware components hardware components are the components which you can see and touch that convey information to the user are called output devices number five alu cu and mu are the parts of cpu now students what do you mean by cpu cpu is central processing unit and it has got three main units they are your ALU, arithmetic logical unit, your CU, which is your control unit, and your MU, which is your memory unit. So, these three are the parts of your CPU, central processing unit, which is also called as the processor. It is a processing device of your computer. And students, we also know that CPU is called as the brain of the computer. Why? Because this is where all the calculations and data is processed into information. If the CPU will receive the input from your input devices, process it there and send the processed result to the output devices. Okay, students. So now, let us do B, write true or false. A keyboard has two buttons on the top of it. No, this is false. A keyboard has got three buttons on the top of it. Now, students, joystick is mainly used to play games on a computer. Now, as we know, a joystick, what is it? It is a pointing device. For what is it used? It is used to control the actions in a computer game. It has a vertical lever mounted on a base. There will be a flat base on which there will be a vertical or a standing lever on the base. Now, when you move the lever, the vertical lever in different directions, it helps you to control the actions in your video game. So, yes, the statement is true. Joystick is mainly used to play games on a computer. Now, the output or result we get on a paper is called soft copy. Yes. Now, 
when we understand what is an output, we get two things, something called as hard copy and something called as soft copy. Now, which is the information which can be given on the monitor, which exists electronically and is displayed for a temporary period of time, then it is referred to as the soft copy. Now, what is hard copy? The information which we get as a printout on a paper is called hard copy. When you are asked to take out some printouts for your project work, that is called as the hard copy. But from the computer, some images must be stored from which you have to take out the printout. Now, that image which is stored in the computer, that is called as a soft copy. The one which we can touch and which is in our hand is called as a hard copy. So, the output or result we get on a paper is called hard copy, not soft copy. So, this statement is false. Now, number four, we should move two fingers apart to zoom in the touch screen. Yes, this is true because this is, uh, we, uh, you would have done in your practicals, how do you zoom? Or in your mobiles also, how do you zoom? We move two fingers apart to zoom in the touch screen. So, this statement is true. Number five, the speed of inkjet printer is measured in lines per second. No, this is false. The speed of inkjet printer is measured in lines per minute. Now, students, we have to remember that there are two types of printers. One is a uh, direct impact printer and non-direct impact printer. Now, inkjet printer is a uh, non-impact printer. Why? Because it outputs text and images by spraying your ink on the paper. So, the speed of this printer is measured in lines per minute and not lines per second. Number C. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. Dash is any data or instruction entered into the computer. We know input is any data or instruction entered into the computer. Number 2. Data that has been processed into a useful form is called dash. It is called output. Where is the processing being done? In the CPU. And it is displayed in the form of output on the monitor. Number 3. Dash printers have direct contact between printer head and paper. These are called impact printers. Now, direct contact and impact. Impact means to have a kind of a stamp-like thing, uh, something which is in direct contact. So, we can relate that the printer head and paper are in direct contact. That means they are having an impact between them. So, they are called as impact printers. Number four, hard drives have storage capacities from 500 GB to 8 TB. Number 5. The height and width of a memory card is usually no bigger than 1.5 inches. Now, let's come over to D. Write the full form of the following. VDU, Visual Display Unit. ALU, Arithmetic and Logical Unit. PPM, Parts Per Minute. CPU, Central Processing Unit. CU, control unit, LPM, lines per minute, which we have read in our uh, printers. Which kind of printer has lines per minute? Inkjet printer, which is a non-impact printer. This is how you should relate and study. Next, define the following. What is a barcode reader? Now, students, you would have gone to the mall and you would have seen when you go to the billing counter, there is this... Uh, person who holds a barcode scanner in his hand and where, what does he scan? All the products which you get, if you see the packet on uh, behind the packet, there will be a few lines over there. Those are the barcode lines. So, barcode lines is a set of lines of different thickness which gives us digital information. Digital information means which is already stored in the computer. Once you scan it with the help of the barcode scanner, then that digital information is displaced. What like what kinds of information like about the product, like how what is its price, what is its manufacturing date, etc. So, what is a barcode reader? It is a set of lines of different thickness that gives digital information about the product, like its price, manufacturing date, etc. It is also called barcode scanner. It is used to input data from the barcodes. Where are these barcodes present? They are present on your product. 
if you notice take any packet and see there will be a barcode written so with the help of this barcode reader or scanner you will have to scan it and then you will get all the details about the product next is micr what is the full form of micr it is magnetic ink character recognition reader now this is an input device it is a input device which is used to read and identify magnetized characters printed on a document such as a bank check children kindly request you to ask your parents to show you a blank bank check and there you will see there will be some magnetized characters so micr what it does this is an input device which will read and identify these magnetized characters on the document like for example bank check you can see it for example next digicam a digital camera or a digicam is an electronic input device which is used to capture and store your photographs electronically in the computer so digicam is a digital camera digital camera means it stores your photographs electronically next what is a pen drive you all must have heard pen drive pen drive in your labs what is it it is also known as flash drives now where is it you see that it is plugged into something in your computer or on your laptop now what is that port called that is called as a port it is called as a usb port what is usb universal serial bus so these pen drives when you plug it into this usb port on your computer or laptop then you can uh, work on your data it is portable and lightweight portable means you can easily carry it around and it is it doesn't weigh much next it has a storage capacity ranging from 512 mb to 100 gb and it transfers data at a very high speed now if you remember all these point wise it becomes very easy i have highlighted the main points for you It's like flat drives plugged in a usb portable and lightweight 512 mb to 100 gb storage capacity and high speed data transfer if you just memorize these uh, highlighted points in green you can you know uh, elaborate your answer and write it for what are the five different points for pen drive whenever you write your answers in point wise it has more weightage in the exam next differentiate between the following between a mechanical mouse and an optical mouse what is a mechanical mouse mechanical mouse has a all of you have been to the lab students so all of you have operated a mouse because without a mouse you cannot do anything so what is a mouse actually it is a pointing device that fits comfortably under the palm of your hand and you what do we use the mouse for we use it to select or move items on the screen otherwise how will we operate and we also use it to give some instructions to the computer now as we know the top of a mouse has two buttons and a scroll wheel the bottom of a mouse is flat and contains a mechanism that detects its movement so what is the difference between optical mouse and a mechanical mouse now we understood what a mechanical mouse is because it has a rubber ball on its underside so when it rolls with the ball will detect the mouse movement in any direction the optical mouse it uses a red led what is the full form of led it is a light emitting diode and it has an optical sensor now movement over here is detected by sensing changes in the reflected light when we reflect the light using the red led then the movement is detected on the computer next what is the difference between impact printer and non impact printer now you have to remember this point friends impact means having direct contact direct contact between what and what between the printer head and the paper because the print out has to come out on the paper but only when the printer head prints on the paper will you get the print out so the when the printers that have direct contact between the printer head and the paper that is called as impact printer and non impact printer they do not have direct contact between the printer head and the paper now in impact printer the speed of printer is measured in characters per second that means whatever alphabets you are typing that many how many alphabets per second that is the basis on which the speed of the impact printer is measured but non impact printer is measured in ppm that means pages per minute next what is an example of impact printer it is dot matrix printer and examples of non impact printer are laser printer and ink jet printer now 
Impact printers are less expensive. Non-impact printers are more expensive. Like for example, I told you laser printer will use laser technology. Inkjet printer will require ink. So they are more expensive. Next, impact printers are very loud and noisy. Whereas non-impact printers are much quieter. Impact printer, the printing quality is very low. But in non-impact printer, high print quality because of laser technology being used. Next, what is the difference between recordable CD and rewritable CD? Now, recordable CD is a write once and read many times device. Whereas a rewritable CD, it allows data to be written multiple times. Recordable CD, only written once. Rewritable CD, written multiple times. Recordable CDs, the disk contents, you cannot erase them. They cannot be erased or wrapped. Whereas rewritable CD is an erasable disk. Recordable CD is a multi-session compact disk. Whereas rewritable CD, it acts like a hard disk or a storage disk. Next, G. Answer in one or two sentences. What is a virtual keyboard? Virtual means something which does not exist. It is virtual. It is a software component that allows a user to enter text. So, how do you enter text in your smartphones and tablets using the virtual keyboard, which is a software component which allows you to, as a user, to enter text into your phones. Now, what is motion input? Motion input allows the user to guide on-screen elements using air gestures, gestures or signals or signs. Now, with motion input, a device containing a camera will detect our gesture and convert it into a digital signal that is sent to the computer or the game device. So, when you, supposing you are standing in front of a device which contains a camera, and it can detect whatever, uh, you know, signal or a signal or gesture we are doing. So, supposing you raise your hand, that it will detect that. The camera in that device will detect it and it will convert it into a digital signal that is sent to the computer. Then, it will allow the user to understand the air gesture. Now, number three, why should you prefer laser printer over dot matrix printer? Now, laser printer uses laser technology. So, but why? Because they give better quality output, they are faster in speed, they are less noisy and main thing is they use laser technology to print on paper which gives excellent output quality. Next, H. Answer briefly. How does a computer work? As we have been studying from our lower classes, a computer works very fast and very accurately. It does four main jobs. First is inputs your data. Next is processes your data, third is displays the output and fourth is it stores the data which is very important. Now, inputs data means input is any data information which we enter into the computer and with the help of what do we enter this data or information? We enter this data or input uh, with the help of input devices. What do these input devices help us to do? They help us to enter the data and the commands to the computer. Some examples of input devices are keyboard, mouse and scanner. Next, processor's data. The processor or CPU is the main chip which is used to process your data according to the instructions given by the user which is called as input. Next, third, after the data has been input and processed, there has to be some output which has to be displayed. So, that information after being processed and organized has to be used in a useful form. Now, what are the output devices? They are your monitors, printers and speakers which will display your information on the screen or either create printed copies or generate sounds as in speakers. Next, after all this, it has to store your data. So, the data and information is stored in the storage devices for future use to perform tasks. Example of this storage data is storage devices are hard disk, CD-ROM, DVD-ROM and pen drive. Next, what is the use of storage devices? Storage devices enable us to store data and information. Now, they can hold data, instructions and information for what? For future use. And the different storage devices are hard disk drive, optical disk, CD or compact disk, CDR, DVDR, CDRW and DVDRW, Blu-ray disk, 
flash drive and memory card. You will be asked to mention the different storage devices in your exam. You can give all these examples. Next, what is a CPU? Name its units. Now, central processing unit is the main processor or the brain of the computer as we all know. Now, CPU stands for central processing unit. It receives the input via input devices and it will process the data. And then it will send the process data to the output devices to be displayed. And it has three main units, ALU, arithmetic or logical unit, CU, control unit, and MU, which is your memory unit. So with this, we come to the end of this exercise. I hope you have understood clearly what all these exercises have been asked for. Now, if you like my channel students, please like, share, and subscribe to it. And please keep the bell notification button on so that when I post the next video, you get notified about it. Kindly subscribe children. Thank you.